Okay guys, so I have all the parts and components. Everything's laid out ready to be installed. I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about them before we go ahead and install them on my Jeep Wrangler TJ. So let's start with the radios. I have the radios. My plan is to stack the radios one on top of each other. I don't wanna delete my CB because I still may have to use this from time to time on the trail. So here I have the mount and my gasket. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that on top of here. So the next part is installing this piece here. We wanna make sure that the rubber O-ring is facing down and then just thread it on there and everything should center up. And you can see where there's some cutouts right here and where we can take a wrench and then just snug that down nice and snug onto the mount. Also, I wanna add that if you're unfamiliar with mounting external mount antennas, the center conductor here is gonna be your positive and the outer casing is negative. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna test these, but later with my multimeter to make sure these aren't touching. Okay, so once that's nice and snug, we're gonna go ahead and install the antenna. The antenna will just thread in like that. And this will complete the installation of the NMO mount for your uh, base unit. It doesn't need to be like super tight just enough to where it's hand tight. So I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and run some tests. The first thing I'm gonna do is uh, just test my meter, check the ground. From the outside is a ground. So we have good connection there. And then from the outside to the center conductor. And that is good. That's a good signal. We, we don't have um, a short between the, the metal housing outside to the inside conductor. So this terminal is set up good now to double check that everything's good from here over to here this side of the circuit is we want to check the center conductor to the center pin which is here and we have good continuity so that means we this connection has a good connection through the connector through the cable and to the antenna now to test if we have a short We'll simply go from the center conductor to the outer conductor and we are good. So that means there's no short between positive over here to negative. And we have a good connection from the positive conductor through the cable to the antenna. So that's good. Now I'm gonna check for ground. Do we have a good ground connection from here to the outer housing of the antenna? And we do. And we do so that's a good plus so we have also a connection from here the outer the outer housing or conductor to the outer housing conductor of the antenna and we do we have so we have so through the mount to the antenna we have good connection and i'm not able to test the center conductor to the antenna because i believe it's um, being isolated internally of the antenna but a good a good um, test we can do is to test the center conductor and make sure that we're not touching ground or gr the outer casing of the antenna. So that's going to definitely pass. So I'm comfortable with plugging this into my radio and turning on the radio at this point. But before that, we need to install the mounts and uh, just talk about a few other things. I have a cable running from the output of the GMRS deck up here and I have a reducer going from uh, the uh, RG58 cabling to a PL259 connector and into a BNC so this is a female PL, PL259 connector to a male PL259 connector and then it converts it to a BNC into the SWR tester and also I have connected on the other end which is the output of the tester a 50 ohm dummy load rated for 5 watts so we know this unit is rated for 50 watts so we're gonna have to make sure that this unit here is set to the lowest setting or we can overheat and damage the dummy load so um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in show you how it plugs in so now we're plugged in very nice and we'll just leave the deck here. So um, we're gonna go ahead and power on the unit and test for uh, SWR first. With the dummy load, I have my mic connected. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this thing on. 
and I'm going to set the channel to channel 16 and um, I'm on a medium uh, medium output so uh, I'll take it down to channel 2 which is a low output and I'll just go ahead and key the mic I first have to turn this guy on and you have to push this button there's only one button on the SWR and then you hold it for three seconds and then it loads up and then for the top notch here you can see that um, you can push this button once and it switches to the top which down here is a uh, diagram it tells you okay so now we're set to watts and I push it one more time and this indicator moves down um, to SWR so I'm gonna key the mic and we'll test SWR we're on channel 2 which is a low output setting for the radio so uh, here we go key the mic and it's a perfect one SWR that's because we have a dummy load so with a dummy load we'll get perfect every time um, and SWR so I'm gonna push this one more time and I'm gonna switch it to watts and we're gonna see the output in watts that the radio is uh, producing. So here we go, key the mic. And it takes a image of what's happening on the outputs and we're getting 3.9 uh, watts. So that's gonna be excellent for low power. And that's on low with a five watt dummy load. So just real quick, just checking. So now that we've checked with a dummy load, I'm pretty confident and comfortable with plugging in my um, antenna into the unit and also checking SWR. So we're just testing the tester, which is this SWR meter. Now we're actually going to go into the next step and check our antenna and cabling all the way up to the outputs of the antenna. Um, so just keep in mind that the antenna is paired optimal for this radio, so there should be no tuning, but it is very critical that we test SWR just to make sure that we're in within our range and we're checking the output wattage of the radio just to make sure that we're getting what we're paying for. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that over. Pretty simple. Um, using my adapters. So using adapter, all I have to do is plug in the cabling from the antenna. Plug it into this female PL259 connector adapter to BNC and then remove my dummy load and install the BNC connector. And we are totally connected now to my antenna. With this excess cabling, it may not be perfect or exact, but it's gonna get us into the ballpark range. So um, I'm gonna go back down to channel two. And um, with this cleared out, I'm gonna go ahead and check it on a low range. And I'm getting three watts output so i got three watts of output there 3.1 and climbing and then i'm going to go to swr and check that and i'm getting about 2.8 on the swr which uh is okay it's just not uh ideal um, it's not perfect and there is no uh, there is no perfect system so with the SWR high like that, we're going to take the supplied Allen wrench that comes with the antenna. We're going to remove the antenna and I'm going to go ahead and sand the end of that antenna down just about an eighth inch and see if we can change the SWR. Okay, so right now I'm on channel one and I'm just checking SWR. And as you can see, I've been slowly starting to grind down and then putting it back on and then rechecking every time I get a little bit lower and lower. So the first time I sanded about maybe an eighth off, I went from three to 2.2. .2. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the antenna back off and go sand again. And uh, we'll come back and check the SWR on channel one, um, low, low setting, and then we'll go move it over to a high setting, channel 22, somewhere around there, 16, 22. And then we'll, we'll just double check SWR is lowering. So I'm gonna take that antenna off uh, one more time and see if we can get it to go lower than 2.2 .2 on the SWR. Okay, so I just got back and um, we're gonna double check the SWR and see if it goes up or down. I'm really hoping it goes down. I'm gonna go ahead and cue the mic on channel one on low power 
Let's check it out. Okay, so now I'm at 1.85. So uh, that is a good indication. I'm gonna sand off another eighth of an inch and see if this thing can go down further. Okay, so we just sanded that down and now we're gonna check SWR again. As you can see, we have a 1.8. We're still on channel one on low output power. Um, so we're at a 1.85. I'm gonna key the mic and we're gonna see if it lowers. And now we're down to 1.3 and I am very, very happy with the way this is coming out. So uh, now I'm gonna switch it to output and see if our watts went up and we're getting more output. So now we're in an output and it's saying 3.8, 3.8 watts. So as we lower the SWR, what I'm noticing is the watts are going up. Now I'm gonna move from low power over to high power and uh, see where we're testing SWR. And I'm gonna switch over to channel 16 and I'm gonna key the mic for SWR. And I'm getting a 1.5, 1.6. So uh, let's check the uh, watts on that. And um, I am on high, channel 16. So we're gonna go ahead and check the watts now. Key the mic. And I'm getting 37 watts, which is pretty good for 50 watts. They say we're gonna get 50 watts. Um, um, I have noticed that the watts are increasing on the high output. Um, as the SWR went down, which is also a good indication. 37, that's really good. I mean, that's still more uh, wattage per output um, from, you know, compared to a lot of other radios in the price range for this GMRS unit. So 37, um, 37 watts, I'm pretty happy. Now, if I go ahead and turn the vehicle on and then test this, I'm pretty sure I'll get more into the 40, 45 watt range just because there's more voltage coming in from the power supply that's supplying the, the DC uh, voltage to the, the unit. So um, this is looking really good. Um, I could lower that but a little bit more, like I was saying, but I think you guys get the point. So uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up for SWR tuning. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, button up some of this, get this wires uh, um, mounted up, and then we'll go ahead and install the bracket and I'll show you the final installation. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so here's my little uh, pack that I was telling you about. I have the handheld in here. This is the little handheld. I'm going to take that out and uh, we're going to plug this guy right in into the GMRS radio. So he's plugged in and I'm going to turn that radio on. Radio is on and the lights just lit up pretty cool. So I think it's going to be 462.167. Let's see if I can change the channel here. So I'm on GMRS channel 16, 14, 15, 16 there. And uh, I should be able to broadcast and the Baofeng pick it up. So let's see if we can do that. Um, here's the Baofeng. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and try it. Mic check, got a mic check. This is WRW 432. Come in, come in. Well, guys, that looks like it's pretty successful. The Baofeng picked up the uh, radio signal from the GMRS uh, B Tech. <laughs>